astrologer wonder girl taking you to new heights here is your weekly forecast for the week of monday september 11th to monday september 18th 2017. what is going on for you this week pisces um is um, a big relationship week, okay? A week about relationships, also a week about money and about finances as well and about your values in some way. I think you're trying to figure out how to be more comfortable with your life, bring maybe more stability in it with some way and just get a little bit more right with yourself, okay? That's because we do have Venus this week making some major moves uh, in, in the chart, big aspects, big planets as to where the past few weeks Venus has kind of been laying low while Mercury and Mars and Uranus have been causing all the trouble and now here Venus comes along to make sure that everything is okay, that your relationships are right, that your financial situation is all worked out, and that you're more comfortable with where things are going, okay? So that is what is happening for you. This for you is, of course, going to have a lot to do with um, your job and your daily routines, okay? That's because we do have Venus conjunct the North Node in your sixth house of your job, of your daily routines, really bringing a lot of focus to that area, okay? I know I've been talking about this a lot, but it continues to be a focus, okay? The solar eclipse was there and Mercury and Mars were there. Now Mercury and Mars and the solar eclipse are done with or have moved out and Venus is coming through the same spot, really making sure that you master it. I think the message with your job and routines this week is instead to think more about relationships. Do you have the relationships at your job that you need, okay? Are the people there that you need? Are you working with the people in the way that you need to work with them, okay, in order to get what it is that you want? Also, money situations as well. How is money happening for you in your job? Trying to work out maybe some money issues and to make sure that your value and your perspective on your job and on your daily routines, if they've been super busy lately, are in the right place so that you can do things that you feel like are better for you and are gonna make you more comfortable, okay? I think you're really trying to commit to working some of these issues out in your job so that you can have a better career that you want for yourself and a better life direction, okay? Because it, we do have Venus right here in your sixth house of job and a trine with Saturn in your 10th of career, all right? So I think that is what is going on, trying to commit to a career with your job or commit to a new life direction by doing small things on your daily routines with other people in some way to really get there, all right? I think as you're doing this, there may have been some unexpected things that have come up when it comes to your money, when it comes comes to your confidence, your gifts and talents and your skills, something along those lines that you're now trying to figure out, how can I take these unexpected things that have happened and how can I really create the job and the daily routines that I want to help me move up in the world, have the reputation that I want and have a better life direction, okay? I think all that is going on. I think there's an opportunity to really make changes that you need in your job, in your daily routines, okay? To have the life that you want in some way. I think that is gonna be there, especially with Venus in a sextile, in the North Node in a sextile with Jupiter in your eighth house of changes. Okay, but I think what you're just going to have to focus on in order for you to get there, which could be a little difficult, is your relationships and is other people um, and how other people can help you in your career, help you move up in the world, help you move your life in the right direction. Okay, that's because even though we do have Venus in your sixth house and a fairly good aspect with Saturn in your 10th, we've got Saturn in a square with the sun in your seventh house of partnerships, relationships with other people, business partners, marriage partners, contracts in some way, one-on-one -on -one relationships that you are trying to figure out, okay? So maybe you have a lot of things that you want in your daily routines, a lot of things that you want and where your life is going and you have to figure out how can you bring people on board? How can people understand what is happening to you? How can they help you move forward, all right? I think there's a lot of communication that you want to do, a lot of action when it comes to relationships, especially with Mercury and Mars conjunct in your seventh house, but I think there's still more to go to figure that out. I think we're still gonna have to work some of these issues out a little bit more than you know, maybe you thought or you wanted to, and it may take a little more effort for you to get on top of this, okay? Because your seventh house does oppose your sun in your first house, you may also have to make some compromises as well, that you perhaps don't want to make in order to get to where you want to go, okay? But I think the message here is to not give up, to not stop, to keep trying to do it and to work with people, okay? You need to work with people. This is very important. Don't shy away from working with people. Don't, you know, get mad or throw it in people's faces. You know, you need to figure out some way to, to bring people on board with you and to stick with them, okay? And to make sure that everything is okay to get your life in the direction that you want to go. I think that's going to be very important to you. You may feel a little hurt or upset about yourself 
yourself, about who you are, as you try to work out a job or a daily routine that's better for you. But I think you need to think very differently about your daily routines and about your job and about how it relates to you personally and your identity. Maybe not take it so personally anymore if that, have you been doing that, okay? And just think about it differently so that you can do what needs to be done, create the relationships that you need to move you up in the world in the right way, all right? That is what I see for you coming in here now your card for the week is the knight of swords reversed okay what i think is going on here lots of talk lots of communication happening okay maybe with mercury conjunct mars going on in your seventh house lots of communication with people but what i don't see is action on this communication that's happening okay i think it's a good thing to talk to people i think it's very good i think you just need to make sure people are backing up their words that you're backing up your words too that not only are you making plans with people but they're actually following through on the plans okay i think you need to stick with that this week i think you need to check up on people and, you, and think you need to make sure that you stick to your word and that other people do so that they can really help you do this thing that you want to do and don't let it fall by the wayside all right so that is what i got for you this week thank you so much for watching my horoscope if you like it please like it on youtube subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and i will talk to you later